everybody happy homebrew Wednesday I'm doing this a little early again because uh, it's actually Tuesday right now but uh, I have to take my dad to get cataract surgery tomorrow so I'm taping a quick video now and I'm gonna post this probably a little early so you'll be seeing this most likely on Tuesday night rather than Wednesday but it's homebrew Wednesday right I am uh, I'm also not drinking a beer right now because it's kind of early I'm waiting for my water to come to a boil for some coffee uh, introduce you to Bobo. That's my monkey skull. Hello. That's right. I have a monkey skull. In one of my previous videos, you might have uh, noticed in the background I had a human skull. That's sunshine. I don't remember if I put a note on that video or not. I didn't bring it up to the camera or anything. Just kind of in the background. Uh, just a couple of quick things I wanted to talk about today, and I was going to leave it at that. Um, in the past videos I was talking about water tests and I wanted to show you the Ward Labs water test that came so this just came yesterday I'm gonna actually do it today send it off in the mail and then I should get results within they say one business day of the day they receive it so it might take a couple days to get there and then another day or so to um, to get the results to me but this is Ward Labs. It is an online lab that actually has a specific homebrew water test for beer brewers, which is kind of cool. So um, I did that. It, it cost $36. This tube comes in the mail. And then on the inside of the tube, they have some bubble wrapped stuff and a little instruction manual. Or not manual, but a little instruction sheet. My cat's about to. Okay, good. It's going the other way. Jerry was going. Jerry's my cat. He was about to uh, eat the laptop. So there's some bubble wrap, and on the inside is a water testing bottle. That's where you put the water, and they give you a new label that you just apply to the outside of the tube, and you also get postage as part of the payment that you gave them. So that's almost five dollars postage. Uh, that you can consider part of the payment, so it was about thirty-six dollars. Basically, I'm gonna fill this up with some, with the water, wrap it in the bubble wrap, put the labels and postage on the tube, pack it all up, and send it off to the lab. And like I said, in a few days, hopefully, I'll get the results. That'll have all the information about the mineral content of my water, what's in there, the pH, nitrates. Um, hardness of the water all that stuff and that'll hopefully give us a little bit of an idea of why some of my beers tasting way it does in addition to the beer tastings that hat trick is doing for me and uh, Nordy's brewer is doing for me they're gonna post videos of that stuff I sent them the cream ale that I was worried about and some other stuff too so um, hopefully all of that should give us give me an idea give you an idea of what kind of off flavors I was getting and why that might have been. I'm thinking even if the water test comes back and you know there isn't too much of any part in, uh, any particular mineral that might be messing with the brew, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna either switch completely to bottled water anyway or do like a 50-50 sort of deal where the water from the tap that I'm using will be boiled and um, maybe the um, the top off water will be bottled water or something like that. But when I start the all grain brewing, that's going to be you know full boils anyway. So I, I'm not really sure. I'll, I'll wait for the water test and see what it says. That's basically all uh, I have for today. I have two or three videos on the back burner that I've already shot that I've been meaning to post, but I keep putting it off. <clears throat> so those will be coming soon. And otherwise, happy Homebrew Wednesday. I'll see you soon. Say goodbye to Bobo. Bye, Bobo.